Hello woodworkers and on-shape designers. Welcome to this tutorial where we will build a simple table and use two feature scripts to define the mortise and tenon joint as well as the wood grain texture to indicate where the part is located in woodstock. So let's start in an empty part studio with a sketch on the top face. I press N for a normal view to that P to hide those planes here and S for my shortcuts take that center point rectangle place the center in the origin and give that a length of 660 and a width of 340 all right I'll pull that out here and go into the extrude take that sketch and give it a thickness of that board of 22 millimeters I'll call that top and change the appearance of that to some wood color all right Next, I will place a sketch again on the top plane. Press N again. And press U. Project um, the edges of our top board. Hide the board. And then start um, with a center point rectangle for one lag here make those size equal with E give that a height of uh, 36 and a distance from the outside of our board of 12 millimeters same thing about um, the vertical distance and then I will draw a line from that midpoint here to here and down here. And take the two point rectangle command and pull that out like this. Give that a width of 18 and an offset from that corner uh, with four millimeters I'll do that again for that side here for the short apron eighteen millimeters and four all right and i can exit that sketch go into the extrude take that profile and make a blind extrusion with a 320 um, 320 length accept that call that part lag change the appearance of that maybe to that and make that sketch two visible again go into the extrusion and take those two profiles turn that around death 44 i wanted that as a new body okay i will call this part here 
apron underscore short and this part here apron long and again give that some type of wood color but different from the other ones something like that and hide that sketch here huh? I'll show the top part here so we got that corner of our table and now I want to demonstrate um, the Mortise and Tenon feature script. I get that here in my custom features. And it asks me to pick a, an edge. I'll take that. Leave everything to the default, accept that. And I'll do that one more time for that other side here. OK. And let's see what that did. I will hide the lag. And see, we got the, the tenants visible here. I'll hide those, and I'll show the lag. And here we got the more ties. Let's see the two together and maybe go into section view. And there you see the, sec the, the section view. Okay. I'll get out of that. And now how, how do we get that that feature script? So that is that is not in our standard features, but um can be searched for. And there are several ways to, to find it. When we go to add custom features, you can here in the search section you write more ties and you get those search results I'll take that one here and there it is you double click that and okay in my case it's removed from my toolbar so I'll go back more ties and edit okay was added to your toolbar there it is all right so i'll continue modeling now and um i'll mirror that part over that plane and mirror that one over here. Then I'll add a chamfer to my lag here, three millimeters, okay. And then a fillet with two millimeters of that edge, that one, the bottom edges, edges, and from that lag, those four here. Accept that. And then Let's have a look at that other feature script I want to show you. And that is the wood grain feature script. 
which allows you to place a, a texture on your part to show the direction of the wood grain. So let's start and do that with the top part. I take the feature script, I take that part. I need to place one origin of the structure. I will take that face with the z-axis towards me. And you see you have um, three different um, no, views of, of the texture. Here the grain is running in that direction, and then you have that top view. You can have a preview, show full grain pattern. And so there you got the, the log. I'll leave that at a scale to one. Hide that part and do that one more time. Wood grain, I'll take the leg. I'll place that origin here on the top, but you could place it somewhere outside just as well. And I'll change the, the scale this time to um, 0.6. There you have a preview, or there you have it. OK. And I'll repeat that on that long apron. Take that part, place the origin here, and change the scale to 0.6. And one more time. For that part here, 0.6. Okay, I'll show the top again, and maybe we want to fill it the, our tabletop as well. I'll hide the three other parts, go to fill it, two millimeter, just take all of it, accept that. There we have the fill it, show those again. At the top and start mirroring. So I go into part mirroring, take those two and mirror that over the front part as a as new bodies. And then one more time, mirror those three over the right plane. OK, show on the tabletop. And well, OK, the, the import process of that um, feature script is just the same. You add custom feature, you look for that wood grain, there it is, and then you import that to your standard uh, features. If you want to create uh, an exploded view of your table, you go down to assembly, insert, uh, insert a part studio. Go to exploded views. Add an exploded view. Take that tabletop and just pull the parts, one part or 
several parts. Part. And there you have it. We've successfully designed a table and have applied to feature scripts the wood grain feature script and the mortise tenon. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.